The editor has a lot of functionality built into it, both for manipulating the sound of the individual sample you're working on and looping it, creating other sounds that play along with it, like multi-samples. There's, there's so much functionality built into just this one little spot. It's really amazing. You'll notice that when you flip over to the editor, the waveform gets a little bigger because you're going to be working on it. You still have the ability to move, cycle through waveforms and things like that, but right now let's just take a listen to this sample. So I'm using a clapping sound. And the edit range right away is just the sort of area that I'm working on. So it's different from the sample starting and ending point. The sample could be longer, but if I want to just apply an effect or um, an adjustment to a certain range of the sample, I can do that. I can work on just this one little part or the whole thing. So what I've got is my little undo area. I'm in the sample editor right now. And you can crop it, so if I don't want the sample to be that long, I can just adjust the edit range and say the sample should end right there. Crop it. Much shorter. Let's undo, though. We don't want the one that short. <laughs> You've got your typical audio editing things of cut, pasting, um, duplicating, which is nice. So you can have now two in a row. So now this sample is two of them, and I can adjust just the second one and give it, for example, well, let's normalize it and make the whole thing louder, and then we'll give it a fade in. So now we kind of killed the attack of that. Let's undo, and let's give it a fade in just to there. So you hear the attack of the second one is kind of gone. We can do it twice, so it really is drastic. And again, we'll undo so that we haven't really messed with anything. So now we're back to normal. You've got digital clipping, correction, reversing. Let's do that. Let's have it, uh, let's have it play once and then go backwards. There we go. And then we can kind of cut this and put it in right after. Let's just get that start start thing in my out of the way. So right about there, we'll paste it in. So now we've got got the clap and then the backwards clap. Kind of cool, kind of a cool thing to be able to do. So let me reload this kit just so that we're clean before we move on. There we go. Get back to our clap sound. So a lot of stuff we can do in this editor, in the editor. We can also look at the different layers of samples that's in there, that are in there. And right now you're dealing with just one, the clap arena. But if I wanted to add another sample in there with it, I could. What we're going to do is we're going to add in another sample there. We're going to add a layer. And you could add it from a single note sample if you want to. So if I want to, I could just grab some sounds here. Throw it in there. So now my clap is mixed in with a Yamaha DX7 sample that is kind of long. So I'm going to just adjust the end time right there and as a matter of fact why don't we crop it there we go there we go and we'll add a little ending ramp oops shouldn't have done it really to the whole thing so let's go back and just add it to like the very tail end even that might be a little aggressive let's really just go to the end there we go okay so now I got two sounds playing at the same time. I got my clap and that synth that I added in. And I could have added in a sound from the battery library just as easily. I could add in a third layer later on if I want to. So let's say I don't want that sound playing all the time. I just want it playing when I hit a certain velocity. So I can go to that sound and just raise the floor of it up a little bit there. And now if you notice, I'll play softly. And it's not until I get louder that you hear that second sound kick in. 
And of course we can do the opposite. We can have the floor of that one be much lower. Or we can move it in the middle. I could have it so when I hit hard, I don't hear it, or soft. I don't, but right in the middle. So you can move it anywhere you want. You can really kind of manipulate it to be wherever you want. A multi-sample, an alternate sample. It's a really cool ability. You can even have one of them looping and one of them not. So we haven't really talked about looping yet. Um, so what we'll do for now is... Let's just cut that layer out of there. All right, back to our clapping sound. Now, right here is where we can switch between the editor and the looper. So when I go to the looper, I can add a loop in. They just let you do that. We have an add loop button. I click it. And now the whole thing is looped. Let's not quite do the whole thing. Let's do it so we can hear it. There we go. So that's looping now. And the cool thing is, this is such a full-featured loop, loop editor that you can move this around, the loop area, while you're doing it to hear how the, the loop is going to sound. So you can start the loop wherever you want and kind of manipulate it while you're going. It's, it's really very cool. You can adjust how many times. It doesn't have to be infinite. You could have it loop four times and then finish the sample. So you can't really see it because it's happening so quickly, but it's going to play that four times and then, and then play the whole rest of the sample. Let's kill this loop. We'll close it. And let's put our layer back in here. So we'll put that synth back. And let's put a loop in the synth sound. So we can do that because the synth sound has a longer decay. So now it's looping forever until you let go of the key. But we can change the count to three, four times. And even if I hold the key down, it plays it four times and then goes on. So this is so rich that you can even have one layer looping and one layer not looping in a single cell. It's really, really amazing. You can adjust the tuning of just one of the layers. So if I like that sound, but I just wish it was a little higher or a little lower. I can put one pan hard left and one pan kind of right. So if you're using both you know, percussive things and you want to kind of surround the listener with sound, it's really, really amazing. It's, a, it's such a, a great tool. You can adjust the, the velocity. Um, so a full featured loop editor and audio editor to really create and craft this cell to be exactly the way that you wanted to hear. Pretty amazing.